Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, early November, and I'm going to do a little video here about some Helgamites. Uh, you can see a couple of Helgamites right here. I'll go ahead and pick one up on my hand here so you can take a look at it. That is a Helgamite. It's early November, um, and these Helgamites I caught in New River. Uh, yesterday, uh, while I was doing a little fishing, there's a couple of Helgamites in here. Here's another one on a rock. Um, they have uh, lots of of little feet, and on their little feet they have suckers. They live in water, uh, specifically in swift water, uh, in in the river. They're uh, the larva stage of the Dobson fly, and worldwide there are um, 20 or 30 or more different species of Helgamites. In New River, uh, where I caught these, there are actually several species of Helgamites. There's a, one that's got a, a real black uh, uh, head and uh, neck there. And there's one that's got a brown head and neck. Uh, the, the bigger one there you see is a black one, and it looks like the uh, smaller one there is a brown brown head and brown neck. You can actually tell the difference uh, in these guys between the uh, males and the females by the little pinchers. Uh, uh, not by the pinchers, but by the... Uh, little uh, suction cups they have on the on the end of their um, tail um, here's another one down here and you can see he's on that rock there um, so there's actually three big ones in here these guys have a life cycle of like uh, seven years so the adult stages the Dobson fly, and like I said, there's many different types. And at the seven-year period, uh, they get the urge to crawl out of the water uh, <coughs> up on the bank uh, and get buried down, get down underneath a rock, and uh, dig a little hole where the uh, larva stage here turns into the adult stage they'll get rid of this uh, shell that they've got they'll uh, turn yellow and they develop wings and they uh, turn into a dobson fly which is a pretty good size insect um, and they fly around at night uh, and breed and then they lay their eggs near the water on a tree and the eggs uh, hatch, drop into the water, and the little ones, a new generation, is formed. Now, to show you uh, the difference, these guys right here, as you can see, they're uh, fairly dormant now because they're, it's cold. It's not that cold. It's maybe about 60 degrees out here. But they've been cold. They've been sitting on concrete. Right down there is a little crayfish. I think he's alive. Uh, if you set him over there, he's he's still alive, but he's kind of dormant. Show you the difference in size. I've got a few in this bucket over here. And I'll show you uh, how little they are compared to that big one. These are probably at the second or third year of growth uh, there's three little bitty ones there let me take a big one here and put it over there next to the little ones and you can actually see the difference in the size see the difference between the big ones and the little ones so that's several years of growth this big one here 
I'm going to put over there right now next to those and you can see the uh, difference I would say that big one there probably will be crawling out of the river here within the next uh, year or so uh, if he would manage to survive of course that little bitty one I'd say maybe second maybe third year growth I have caught real little bitty ones that would make this little bitty guy there that would make maybe a third or fourth of that guy right there so they're not that um, the little ones in here I'm calling little ones are really not that small this one here's got his tail caught up underneath that other one so he really can't crawl around speak up now there he goes but you can see this little one here is swimming around a little bit so I can get him on the thing here there he goes if they actually they get in, in deep water they they start to swim see I got a little bit of water in the, the bottom of the bucket and uh, get in water they will actually what happens if you turn over rocks in the river a lot of times they'll float to a top and they'll go in a circular ball the way that one just circled up now he's opening up and starting to swim a little bit but they crawl around in swift water and uh, live underneath rocks and they can live in real swift water but uh, you can catch them with a seine uh, by turning over rocks or you can catch them with a fish net with a small mesh uh, small enough so that they can't get through the mesh these uh, are really 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 good fish bait I mean trout love them smallmouth bass love them largemouth bass love them panfish love them they're really really super good fish bait and like I say, they're the larva stage of the Dobson fly. Let's get over here and take a look at the little uh, crayfish. He's gotten a little bit more active now. So there he is. But anyway, these are Helgamites. And they're really, really good fish bait. And... Uh, in New River is where I caught these, and there are several species in New River. There's also some in the uh, smaller uh, streams around here that are really a different type of, of Dobson fly. They're a lot smaller, Helgamite. But these things are in New River, plus also some of the other uh, smaller streams around here that uh, flow into New River. Uh, you can catch these, like I say, with a seine or with a net, with a fish landing net with a small mesh on it. So, once again, these are Helgamites, uh, and they are really, really, really good fish bait. Thanks a lot. You folks have a nice day, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more about the various outdoor stuff, gardening, hunting, fishing, Helgamites, all sorts of things. So thanks a lot, and you folks have a nice day.